Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase the Cats coin using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer that over to your Smart Chain wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swapping it for the Cats coin token using PancakeSwap. And I'd just like to let you guys know as well, I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on a daily basis. So if you guys are interested in the cryptocurrency field and want to learn how to buy, how to sell, and many more things to do with cryptocurrencies into the future, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I have lots of content that should help you guys out. Anyways, to get this token, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. The first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB in your trust wallet, whether you purchased it from the trust wallet itself or you transfer it from another exchange, you just want to make sure that your BNB is in your smart chain wallet and not in your BNB wallet or else it won't show the balance on PancakeSwap. So if you guys have your BNB in your BNB wallet, just like right here, you just want to click on your BNB wallet, click on more, 
and then go ahead and click on swap to smart chain. Your BNB will then move over to your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet. So then you'll be able to go ahead and swap it for the cat's coin. So just make sure you have it in your smart chain wallet right there. Uh, now, first things first, you want to add the cat's coin to trust wallet. And to do that, I'll have the first link in the description. So you guys can go ahead there and copy the contract address and then paste it into trust wallet. So I'll show you guys really quickly what to do. You just want to head over to the coin market cap website I have in the description. And all you guys have to do is copy the contract address by clicking on the two squares beside the address. Once you guys do that, it will then copy that address. We can go back over to Trust Wallet. Once we're back in Trust Wallet, we can go to the top right of the screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. Just go ahead and click on that. And then in the top search here, we're just going to go ahead and paste that contract address that we got from CoinMarketCap. We're then going to see the Cat's Coin pop up here. So we just go ahead and click on Enable for that and then click on Done. Once that is done, we have the Cat's Coin in our Trust Wallet. We can go ahead to the browser at the bottom of the screen. If you guys don't have the browser there, you wanna go ahead and add that by going to the second link I have in the description. It'll just show you guys step-by-step -step what to do to add the browser icon to the app. So if I just go over here to the link I have, it'll bring you to Trust Wallet's community page here. And all you have to do is scroll down and follow these steps. You just have to click on that link there that says Trust Browser Enable. And that's gonna pop open this pop-up here asking you to open it in Trust Wallet. So you just wanna click on open on that and then it will add the browser icon into the bottom of your Trust Wallet. Once you guys have that done there, you wanna go over to the browser on your Trust Wallet and head over to PancakeSwap. Now, if this is your first time on PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your wallet. And to do that, if you just go to the top of your screen where I have that little red circle at the top showing you where the connect button should be, you wanna go ahead and click on connect and then click on trust wallet. And then your wallet address will pop up in the top right there. Once your wallet address is there, you should see your balance in your BNB portion, right where the from section is on the exchange. And again, if you guys don't see your balance there, just make sure you have your BNB in your smart chain wallet. But now to add the cat's coin to this exchange, we're just gonna click on select a currency and we're gonna paste that same address we got from CoinMarketCap into here. We'll then find the cat's token. We wanna click on add and then click on the token. You will wanna set your slippage tolerance to 12%. And to change your slippage tolerance, you just wanna to go to the three lines beside exchange, click on that. And then you can go ahead and set your slippage tolerance to 12% here. You guys can play around with the slippage tolerance if you want. The coin is pretty volatile though. That's why I have mine set at 12 because every time you try to go through with the transaction, you will be charged some fees. So it's up to you whether you wanna play around with the slippage tolerance or not. I just put mine on 12 so the transaction goes through for the first time. Uh, anyhow, once you have that slippage tolerance set, you can just go out of here and decide how much BNB that you want to transfer into the cat's coin. So let's just say if I wanted to do 0.2 BNB, it will then show me how much cat's coin I'll get in exchange for that 0.2 BNB. Now, if you guys are okay with that, you can go to where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It should just tell you here to swap your token. And then the next page will pop up showing you your withdrawal fees and your rates and things like that. If you guys are okay with that, you can go ahead and click on confirm for the swap. And then we could exit out of PancakeSwap and your cat's coin will appear in your trust wallet, usually within a couple minutes, depending on the liquidity at the time of purchase. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get the cat's coin on trust wallet with PancakeSwap. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.